We've got bands from the community. Techies band, oh, no. Chen band, Tiny band. Yeah. Why don't you name your child Techies? That would be pretty good. Techies? Or wait, wait, wait. What, what is Dona Wan's name? Squee. Yeah. Squee. <laughs> Spoon. Spoon is okay. Squee sounds great if they don't do their homework and you're yelling at them from upstairs. Squee. Squee. <laughs> wait, what's the third one? Spoon. Spoon. No, there's three. Squee, Spoon, Spleen. Spleen. Ah, that spleen. definitely Spleen. Pick Spleen. Yeah, that's the worst by far. I think Squee. How much do you think a kid named Spoon would be beat up at school? <laughs> a lot. Oh what is his second name? Is it? I my name is Spoon <laughs> Cereal. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> You've set that kid up for failure. Huh? Spoon? Yes. Uh, or oh, Spoony Spoon. I don't believe that. You know, statistically, they do say that if you give your kid a uh, more interesting name, they're less likely to get hired as a job. Yes. Really? That's right. Yes. Did that play any role in your life, Shannon? Uh, it's like I built a very thick skin. That's about it. Yeah? Yeah. I Five became a psychopath. As a <laughs> oh, my God. I thought psychopath is something that you are and you don't, like, you yes, know, that's it's always it. been there. That's true, except for me. He's role okay. playing. He's developed. <laughs> Doing his best psychopath uh, impression. <laughs> just a good quote. Navi actually put a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, boombox into their auction. That's correct. They really wanted to win it. This is important to them, Shiver. Yeah. I wonder why. Serious. Hmm. They have to beat the streamers. Kunkka coming in here. It's still very expensive and still worth it. We have got well, to increase hero prices. Wait, okay, so everything has gotten more expensive, we've been told. But the here I see the Kling's Vengeful and Draw Ranger are still 11. Why do well, you have to call this what, shit out? No, 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 no. That's, that's not. You, you misinterpreted Sir Sadim. He gave me more information. Uh, oh, basically, the, the first round bans and the Twitch community bans are going to inflate prices a little bit quicker. So, for example, Night Stalker got community banned a lot the first day because everybody knows he was strong, but his price didn't increase very much. Hey! Those are going to happen more quickly. Okay. Fantastic. So those, basically, like, accelerations and decelerations will change a little bit faster, and some of the bans will affect it. Like, Elder Titan is probably the best example. He's third most expensive strength here. I don't think he's been picked or banned the whole tournament. Yep. Okay. Guy should be a lot cheaper at this point. I see. That makes sense. Sheber, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. And... You might not look at me the same afterwards. How do you say your name? Okay, well, I've got that question quite a lot. Quite a, quite well, often. I've known you for years, and I've never known, and I'd like to know. All right. Well, there's a Dutch way of saying it. We, that's what we want. That's All what right. we want. Jorin. Jorin? Jorin. 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 was best. Jorin. Jorin. He's just doing Okay, then he puts it up. Jorin. Jorin. Oh, my God. What about your last Normally name? Normally I can't roll my <laughs> ours that well. Uh, What's your last name, Sheeves? Uh, von der Heiden. Von der Heiden. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty good. Jorin von der You know what name I have never, ever, I've tried it literally thousands. Of, this is not an exaggeration. Okay. Thousands of times to try to pronounce it. Sidren's name. Truls. 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 I can't. It's pretty I, accurate. I can't actually. do it. It's like, it's not a name. It's an emotion. Truls. Truls. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say Whoa. it. Jesus Christ. Whoa. This is why he is always cinder. Oh, a brewmaster pick. Hey! Oh, oh here he comes! Oh. Hell yeah! Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a late addition. That is the team secret AFK beer brewmaster. I actually Ten really like that model. Remaining. Like, I think he looks pretty clever. I it think actually could be a normal set. If this was League of Legends, that shit would have been in already. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. You know what could actually yeah, let's have get again. in the game immediately? Yay! <laughs> the, the thing that we put in the game that was 100% have the best chance of actually getting is the courier. That thing is, like, super legit. Yeah. Yes, like, it very is. Very legit. Discovery gave his life I mean, to that courier. I think everything that has been made by Hoff and all our artists has been, like, top-notch. Yeah. But a lot of it wouldn't fit. I mean, I would love to see Skyrath Chicken. Crowd, would you guys like to see Skyrath in the game? I would love to. That would be amazing, that. but I don't think they'd actually allow him. Does the courier have Five a death line? Remaining. No. No, there's no voice line. It does not die. No, but if the courier <laughs> dies, it should have a voice line saying something, you know, along yeah. the lines of there are storms coming and my battery is low. No, 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 no. He's in heaven. The Dota map is where we're all going to die when we, uh, where we <laughs> all go after. You know, we're all going to die. You know what I found out at the Kennedy Space Center was that uh, in, for the Discovery one, it has solar panels, right? But they would accrue dust, and that's what they would have trouble getting energy. Yeah. So for the, the next one, the, the, the rover one that uh, everyone knows a little bit better, they put a nuclear reactor on it instead just to solve that whole problem. A nuclear reactor. That's yeah. right. Of all things wow. they could have done. That's what they tell you. <laughs> but the truth is is that we sent a nuclear bomb robot to fight the it's aliens. It's not a bomb. On it's Mars. A reactor. Elon Musk will be so happy right now. I mean, you don't need that much energy, right? Like, imagine that you had a nuclear reactor to drive your car or something like that. It's obviously not as safe as conventional means, but it's not like it has to be massive. 
because you're only moving a vehicle. So that's the difference. I'm afraid of nuclear energy. But he still... You don't have to be. I watched Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> well, th that was very, that should be like a, uh, a business issue. It's also combined with other things. It's, it's very different. I only believe in fossil fuels. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never run out. <laughs> I hate electric and nuclear things. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you want to know. just put a disclaimer uh, there, just so people, you know, know that you're being what? <laughs> <laughs> that I'm being what? Black is always serious. Always, every time. Always. Fossil fuels are made from bones, and bones are renewable. They're That's from right. the Carboniferous period when death. mold didn't exist, so they couldn't break down dead trees. Isn't that crazy to think that there was a time in the world where uh, where trees would die, fall down, and they would just stay there forever? Yes. Yeah. And it built up, and that's what created the coal layer. And what kills the trees now? So what you're saying uh, is we should put, and cut all the trees. <laughs> but basically have them lay there for a Ah, long. you see, the yes, problem solved it itself. <laughs> we burn all the trees down. No, 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 because burning the trees doesn't actually work, right? Because then you don't have No, no, you, can, you could burn them, yes. Fantastic. We destroy all the wait, trees. Are you talking wait. about making coal? Yes. And then we oh, make no, yeah, more fuels. It's not going to work anymore. This is a very interesting <laughs> conversation. <laughs> it's not going to work anymore. I, good, I, I want to hear more, please. <laughs> please continue. Well, guess what? You go to the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> good God, you please continue. <laughs> I'm begging you. Good Lord. <laughs> Reginald, save us. God. I think Reginald, I don't know where he went, but he's, <laughs> he's, he's, yeah. left. he's sick of this shit. All right, so we got a Wraith Band and Naga Siren actually bands here at Midas Mode, which is uh, means a lot. Yeah, quite a few expensive right. bands as well. That's interesting. Most teams uh, don't give a hoot mm -hmm. about uh, the bans, yeah. but uh, in Midas mode, you actually get to know when pro players care about banning heroes. We hardly ever see it, and this time they're stacked up, man. This means a lot to these two teams. Yeah, it's the, they're basically just banning the entire draft that uh, the Sunners just used, more or less. That's smart. Is that a sign that maybe they, uh, you know, think that they kind of suck? They think, oh, that was a fluke. We'll get rid of these heroes, and there's no way they can win. Um, maybe comfort ones. I mean, Ursa is, uh, uh, if, you're, if you're planning to pick a Lifestealer, getting Ursa out of the pool is definitely nice because it's a hero that does match up well against Lifestealer. Um, obviously, Sing Sing's Sing Marana is famous. They won MLG Columbus decades ago, yeah. practically, with uh, Arteezy's first tournament win. That and was we huge. saw Mar his Marana previous game as well. Oh, yeah, that Pretty snipe good. on the Invoker. Yeah, yeah that, was that was crazy. That was hype. Still has it. I have to mm -hmm. keep in mind also that the Sadim Stunners get to redo the bounties now. They've refreshed for them. Oh, yes. True. This is period. important. Actually, there were a couple that were um, that were pretty um, pretty interesting. Uh, we saw already. We saw someone survive Roshan. You know, you got to be in the first five yeah. minutes. You got to oh, survive. Yeah. Roshan was not Roshan. ready. Okay. Well, maybe <laughs> he was. Lags. Well, it, I mean, they, they, they approached it in a cool way, right? They tossed the hero over with Tiny, hoping to get like one slap in while he's while he's flying over. Right. And then the other one was, uh, yeah, they ran him into the pit. He tossed him out. Like, they, they, they were definitely ready. They did a good job. And yeah. we saw pay F to, to pay respect as well. Uh, Press F to pay respect. We saw both teams do it yep. as well at the yep. same game. What, that is was what is that one again? Uh, they put dropped the, the recipe. recipe. Oh, that's right. Tomorrow yep. there will yep. be a similar one for Hand of Midas. Isn't that right, Purge? Uh, well, I'll read a lot of them, but they're <laughs> all going to get vetoed. Submit them while it's hot. Uh, we have not yet had a hide and seek mango, right? Uh, I not. believe I believe the Stunners did accomplish yes. it in the last match. Oh, okay. um, we didn't see it on camera, though. I don't think, but they yes. Did do it. So I think we needed to modify it so that they announced that they're hiding mangoes yeah. would help. That way, we know to look for them, and the enemy team knows to look. Well, for them. the cool. enemy like, team has to already notify that they found them. Yes. Yeah, the enemy team has to notify that they found them, but what if, if they, they hide them if, from us? If they don't, if they don't tell us that they've hid mangoes, it's hard to pay attention true. sometimes because there's a lot That's going true. on, you know. Are you hiding any emotional mangoes, Purge? Oh yeah, they're all inside. Yeah. I only release them when the when everybody goes home at night. Wow! My pub games. That must be violent. <laughs> oh my god! A violent release. <laughs> yeah. mm. I have nine K behavior scores. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have. I'm not sure if you guys are talking about kidding. the same thing. But the first <laughs> one mango comes out. That's it. Last oh, week. Oh my! Oh. Last week was the first time my behavior score was less than ten thousand. Really? Oh wow! I didn't know how to feel. Huh. I think, why um, did this? Get, why did I get reported? <clears throat> I don't understand. Did you say something shitty? I don't say anything in game. Oh. Maybe that's why. Maybe they thought you were a Smurf. I play terribly. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely wasn't that. Maybe they thought you bought your account. Oh, whoa, whoa. We got our Perhaps. Rubik's and wow. Oh. They're spending some money, some hard earned yeah, money right. today. <coughs> this is great. Expensive. Very I mean, good. Both these guys are really wealthy. Look at their bu their banks. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, they were, were smart. Well, some of the only teams that are doing challenges, they get Midas mode. I mean, even yeah. with these prices, Night Stalker, I would say, is still a bargain for now until the price increases even more. Right I mean, he's getting up there, 157. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Started really low. Now, uh, w my favorite part about Midas mode is uh, how length factors into it. Uh, we're getting a lot of people talking on, uh, oh, my God, that's a Mapo. Wow. Woo. Wow. We're getting a lot of people talking about, like, oh, the prices need to be adjusted, they need to be lowered, they need to be higher, switch and invert the bounties. But the real joy of this tournament is that it is long. You get to see these metas develop from these teams. Who is saving money, who is spending money, and really get a personality between their different meta picks. Yeah. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing here. These two teams have been extremely similar, whereas, like, Papegas, they spend everything every game. These guys, they try to spend things on the draft and try to win the game. <clears throat> I love it. And uh, this is a great example of two teams that I think actually really understand and, and get the mode. OG went bankrupt. And yes. they clearly <laughs> had some real issues well, understanding the, the, thing is, the game. Now that we know they lost, they're out, right? Uh, they're out. They're done. Yes, they are oh. out. They, they played their three series. It's a, it's a round robin, and they lost all three. Okay, they are eliminated in the groups. So this gives even more incentive to kind of not save your money per se, but not blow it all either. Yeah, right. Because you want to get... Well, then again, you do want to get first place in the groups that saves you an extra series. So. At, um, at what point do they have to decide if they want to have the creep takeover? They have to do it before. I don't before know. Before the draft? I believe they have to do it before the Reginald draft. Reginald will tell us. Reginald! I'm sure Reginald, that was your best. Come on. <laughs> that was very... Uh, <laughs> that was Reginald. Reginald! You really saved Well, so far, I know he's not there. He just took my gun and ran. He will come back. and you got to belt it out. Belt it out. Reginald! <laughs> oh. Whoa! That's good. <laughs> Damn. Release it. He ain't coming now. That was enough. scary as hell. <laughs> I would definitely, I'd leave. He's like, uh, on my lunch break. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, just kidding. We don't give him breaks. No, no, no breaks. <laughs> uh, I, did, I did just hear um, that there was no creep takeover. Aww. No. I mean. We're going to have to lower the price. Were the creeps <laughs> helpful? <laughs> they, they were, were I think sort of helpful. Well, well, yeah, they can be. They can stack. Yeah. I think that's nice. I mean, the, oh, here's Reginald. Oh. Welcome. Oh, oh you got my you. Hey. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, now clean it up and get us another one. Well, there wasn't that much inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's already empty. Oh, my question was, um, why isn't the floor clean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She thank you, Reginald. Clean it. Get done his money off job. the floor, Reginald, please. <laughs> he just said no and walked she, away. That was like the cold-hearted, <laughs> genuine, like, why is the clean? I'm disappointed in you. Oh, yeah. you're not make angry, a, but I'm going to make a very angry mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. In a gentle way, though. What? <laughs> why is it the floor? Very gentle but violent mother. <laughs> yeah. right, so I was just wondering, why aren't your shorts done yet? <laughs> Ten seconds. What were your parents like, Birch? Uh, pretty, very reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds that, about right. Is that not clear? I mean, you met my dad the other day while you were playing pubs, and ignoring he was there. Purge's <laughs> <laughs> dad visited yesterday, and I was uh, playing pubs in the back, and I was just shit-talking teammates, and he was yeah. just watching yeah. silently. Like, who is that young man? He has quite the dirty <laughs> mouth. Oh, no. Jeez. Oh, getting back to the creep takeover, the, yeah. the, last, yes. the last game that they were used, mm. OG had already lost. They, yes. That game was super. Our first game, it was they had some interest. So... You want to tell this story about the, the rune, the Seb interaction? Yeah, that's right. We didn't manage to catch it on camera, but you guys might have saw in that OG series that uh, Seb was chasing a creep down at bot, and he trapped him in the trees and said, uh, you know, oh, let that be a lesson for you, naughty boy. What we missed was that that creep was running towards a double damage rune that Seb wanted, and he stabbed the rune and ran away. <laughs> so uh, maybe that's why we don't have any more creeps. Yeah, I mean, the creeps has to have to be really nice to the teams purchasing them because, you know, they spend value. So if they realize that these creeps are actually Ooh. being uh, a hinder rather than anything else. Yeah, we need to probably lower the... Well, we'll figure that out. We'll, yeah. we'll talk to Reginald later. We can put them in as a punishment, you yeah. know. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Punish us. Just fuck everything up. <laughs> we'll figure it sit out. Sit in don't every worry. camp so they can't stack it. I mean, Beautiful. OG lost their mid Tower last game too. Yeah, they spawned creep takeover and it was the top lane and the mid lane. So they only had a creep wave mm. going bottom. Oh, and it was yeah. just like no the creep wave on their mid tower. No one to defend it. You know what fixes that, Burge? Lycan ags. I was real scared, dude. <laughs> that when was when probably I saw them break the lycan. I was like, if, if they buy ags <laughs> yeah, yeah. and a creep takeover kicks, kicks in, is it going to crash the game? When they no, they could the crash the it, game. Nothing. Would it not be? Would, would you, your creep is instead a hero? Uh, I mean, a wolf. 
It's possible. But it might crash the game. We've yeah. never Genuinely. tested this. Yes. <laughs> let's not, let's not test it. Because no. no one in their right mind would buy Ags on Lycan. It's true. <laughs> and we don't have a Lycan in the game right now. Thank God. The Lycan is actually overpriced as one of the heroes. Good. But uh, we do have the draft done. The last pick on the oh. side of Navi was, um, was the Winter Wyvern. Uh, classic Reginald. Meepo counter. Could we see yep. the draft again? I don't remember any of the heroes. Reginald, thank you. Thank you, Reginald. I like the, the Bloodseeker a lot. Very good against Lifestealer, Rupture him. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like the Stunner's lineup, actually, more. But yeah. Winter Wyvern, the classic Meepo counter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? That's <laughs> it? There's, there's a lot of counters to Meepo, quote unquote. It's all about positioning and just not getting caught out. I don't know. Uh, don't Winter Wyvern bad. is indeed a Meepo counter, but Bloodseeker is also a Winter Wyvern counter. Oh, wow. This so. is a delicate game of chess. Yes, it is. Very it is. interesting. Na Navi is really garbage wave clear is the other thing that they're missing. Enchant bad at, bad at pushing. Um, uh, Bane is also weak at it. Uh, Brewmaster's pretty good. Obviously, Lifestealer can have issues pre-Radiance, and then Wyvern is going to be able to do some. But I could see uh, Stunners have, like, really exploitable stuff going on. I think that might have been one of the reasons they picked Meepo, perhaps. Do you think because secret, they're so single-target focused. Secret talked, or, like, Cyborg Matt talked to Puppy and said, pick Brewmaster, yes. by the way. <laughs> yes. That's our hero. That is yeah, forgotten. Not. <laughs> we, we thought this would happen yesterday, actually. We're yes, like, we did. That's not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> Puppy. Do it now. Puppy, would you pick Puck? Yes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I pick the brew. <laughs> it's very scary, but no one's going to tell Puppy not to. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's too scary. I, I personally like to see all the custom heroes. I'm really still hoping for an age separation. Yeah. Oh, have we not seen that yet? I don't think so. Well, oh, maybe it was picked in the one game one. that was uh, <laughs> yeah. when the map was a little under the weather, let's say. had the yep. flu. It had the yeah. flu. Yes, but we got the flu shot in the form of uh, patch notes. Yes. Mm. I don't believe in flu shots. I know you don't. That's <laughs> why you're sick every two months, literally. <laughs> you guys hear this cough? It's year round. It's <laughs> that's Get yourself to the doctor, for God. That's how the zombies came in I Am Legend. Ah. Is that what you want to happen? The flu shot. That's, that's the lore behind it? Well, no. It was actually a, the cure for cancer. But okay. it could have been... That's a pretty weak story, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say. Wait, does everybody get flu shots in America? Is that normal? I mean, well... It, you get advertised, but I don't know if a lot of people do it. Because in the enough. Netherlands, it's mostly for elderly people or people with weak immune systems. Yeah, you see and that? The people in the healthcare field also get flu shots. Yeah, yeah, yep. okay, if you work in a hospital. See, in America, the government wants to stick you with chemicals. Yes. <laughs> Careful, Sheever. Whoa. Chemicals are good, Flax. <laughs> They're good for you. It's how we get our extra 500 calories every day. <laughs> We the get the extra shot. flu shot. Just inject me with a Big Mac, please. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. You know, I dream of the day where we don't have to eat anymore. Uh, what? Why? Ah, it's enjoyable. Why? Dude, Only. He's the weirdest eater ever, guys. Nah, nah. Eating is, is nice. Trust. Eating in the future, 500 years from now, we'll all have pills. And Back to the future. Everyone will just eat pills every day. They'll have everything you need. And only eating will no. only be for the rich of the rich. Oh, maybe. But, the, you know, the thing is, you know, you can't really, a pill can't recreate the feeling, for example, of biting into an apple. Exactly, but that's why the only the richest will have that moment. They'll, buy, they'll go to parties and they'll eat. This is when we have a food shortage then. S yeah, also, side like note, it. only the wealthy will be able to pass that food. But only pass, the, oh, they ha they're okay. the only ones with a digestive system. Well, no, no, the pill will be the perfect amount so you'll never have waste and only the ah. rich will feel the ecstasy. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> Very interesting <laughs> lore. Is this a new book you're writing? Is this the sequel to Zayori's novel? <laughs> I would love to read that one. Would you live in a world where you couldn't use the restroom unless you were exceedingly wealthy? Yes, that would be great, actually. <laughs> I will be poor on purpose mm. just for that. that. That's a benefit. Does that mean sure. that everybody that's poor is also already all, always like skinny or at least in good yes. shape. Yes, that's great. Yes. Boy, <laughs> I could use those pills. Sign me up. So <laughs> It'll be back like in the Caesar times where only the most portly were the most yeah. established and, and beloved. Does that mean that all the wealthy people are fat? Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're obese. They eat all the hamburgers and they do all the defecation and no one else can. What made them be wealthy? Selling the pills. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making me explain this? Why did you I need start more this detail, Lord. You're forced. <laughs> more lore, please. Anyone want to play with a? Atlantic I would space love shuttle? to see a lorgasm on this subject. <laughs> Joy, absolutely. Thank you. I need to do lore. Wow, this is heavy duty, actually. Yes. I thought this was a cheap toy. This Purge, what is that thing? 
Well, Slacks, this is the Atlanta Space Shuttle. That's right. You can see this at the Kennedy Space Center. Where can it open up? On the top. The oh, arm, I'll figure it out. The Atlantis, uh, in the Atlantis, uh, it has an arm in there. It says Canada on it. Yeah. What? It literally did. Why? I don't know. Because they probably helped. paid for it. They helped us, Shiver. How many Dutch things have gone into space? I have no idea. None. I don't think that's true. Zero that, Dutch they used excursions. Be, they used to be the explorers of the world. Yeah. Then what happened? I don't know. We, we, we were humane before other countries were. Oh, is that what happened? Oh. Yeah, I think so. That's why you're not in space? Okay. I'm After sure all the pillaging, y'all <laughs> calm down. It'll been there, done that. Yeah, one day they're like, you know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. good. You know what? We had a good time. <laughs> all right, we're good. We're, we're good. good. We're good. <laughs> we found America, by the way. <laughs> See ya. LOL. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they invented that one, by the way, in case you didn't know. What? You, LOL. Who? Just shut up. Uh. <laughs> they haven't actually had Dutch astronauts? That, that's kind of... No, I think we have. Yeah, no, I'm not sure, actually. Are you just making this? Are you I just think he's world? making this up. <laughs> Twitch chat, if there's been a Dutch astronaut, please link them in the chat. <laughs> yes. No, By the way, you get banned if you linked. Okay, they had one. <laughs> 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 All right, they they Reginald up. just told us. Two, two okay. We had two. We had two. not say three. They are not astronauts unless they landed on the moon. Excuse, oh, wow. excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Well, we, that's just a space well, man. Slacks, which, which three people landed on the moon? Oh, I don't know who the, the third moon? person is. Huh. Buzz Aldrin. <laughs> yeah. Michael Collins. Oh, you got oh. the hard one. I okay. didn't know that one. I didn't get the hard this one. That's the best part. The hardest one for him is the most is the one that <laughs> everybody everyone, else Everyone, literally everyone knows. You have the same issue. at the. At the that's why I said, you need a clue. what about Michael Collins? <laughs> Wait, is like, he actually, are you actually serious? He literally can't the remember. The only person that I know Shut is the person that he yeah, does. Yeah. It's the only the one he does. Every know. single time, I think it's Luke Skywalker, and it's not. No, it's <laughs> who's that? Yes, yeah, very close, though. Very close. And I always think Buzz Lightyear after, but it's not. <laughs> it's, God damn it, Moon Man. Moon Man? Would you, would you like a clue, by any chance? It, yeah. is this, it is the same name as a person, or the same last name anyways, a person that one did really well the Tour de France, but apparently did it. Oh, well then, of course. <laughs> oh, <laughs> could forget. But then it was a big deal. French baguette. Everyone, oh, because everyone he, knows this. Yes, I, because. It's an American. It's an American, and he got caught by for using. Right. Um, All right, another. Neil Armstrong. Yes. Yes. What a god. Well Why done. can I remember Michael Collins <laughs> <laughs> every time? I don't know, man. Shout out to my boy, MC, Michael Collins, the original did, gangster. And he did not go to the moon, right? He stayed in the, the spacecraft that orbited the moon. Right. How it worked? Oh, so he, oh, okay. He, he, had the, he had the hard job. He got all the way to the moon, but he only got to orbit. He didn't get to go. That's the, the biggest moon. blue balls I've ever heard of. Well, well if, if, the, if all of us went to the moon, I think you would be our Michael Collins. Me. You'd stay in the spaceship and... We'd be like, it's time to go to the moon. He'd be, oh, I just had some spaceman ice cream. <laughs> and then Can't make it, guys. Lactose intolerant. We're down right. there. You're like, oh, no. Oh, watch and is that Is that the lore behind Michael? Why is it always <laughs> Going to the moon. You can't have lore about a historical oh, thing. You can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you know what? Oh. I think Sir Sadim is not behind this one anymore. Really? I really think Sir Sadim is a pretender and is actually really nice. Uh. I think Mr. Midas no. No. is no. the true culprit. No way. But no worries, guys. Malware bites us on that case. Regardless of who's trying to threaten our game, we're going to have it go. Uh. We're a Navi TI1 roster. Thank you so much, Shiva. That was so refreshing of an in the introduction, right? It was. It Just was. as refreshing as this new Belgium yeah, Mountain yeah. Time Premium and Lager. I mean, obviously, the panel had to do uh, a lot of uh, filling uh, while the lobby was going to mm -hmm. uh, uh, fill up. Just like, this is going to fill me up with alcohol. <laughs> <or so. laughs> Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, no, Jenkins. I don't All know right. why I got invited. Anyway, yeah, I don't know, dude. All right. Well, this is going to be an exciting game. We have a new hero that's going to be shown off, right? We have the uh, the Brewmaster. Finally. Speaking of beer. Did we get the Ancient Apparition? We have did not we have gotten that? the Ancient Apparition. That's but what bad. we did get is we got a Waga Mama with Meepo. It's a good Meepo game, other than the Mid Wyvern. Yeah, uh, that's a little, uh, that's a little scary. Because Dendi is is actually playing the wife. Fun fact: I actually uh, I was forced to play a one v one at one point against Kyle. Hmm. He was playing Tree and Protector. Okay. I was playing Winter Wyvern, and I almost won. Are you sure he wasn't on your team and just griefing you? I yeah, that's probably true too. That is definitely a possibility. Okay. Okay. 
But uh, you know, the midwyvern has nothing to nothing to scoff at. Oh, what's uh, what's Sing Sing up to? I don't know. I'm not looking at him right now. I'm looking at a brewmaster with the man bun and a big old can of AFK beer. Apparently, look at him go. Look at that little guy. Woo! All right. I'm not mistaken in saying that. That's is that the, that's a team secret beer, right? Yes. Okay. But we are we are right, we're, enjoying our we're new, enjoying Belgium. new Belgium mountain time lager. Oh, there he is! Look at him! Look at that little guy! Look at him! Lots of I wish. Can you give me a song? Give me a song here. But he's got to dance to something. Hoity toity to I don't. That was terrible. <laughs> well, oh, you dear. put me on. Oh put dear. On. Oh, okay. Apparently, we just did not hear the music. Oh, oh both. Okay. All Giving right. the goo goo eyes to the Roche monster here. We got a. We got someone in that pit. You're not swinging there, buddy. Go you got to start the, swinging. What are you doing? What's? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! no. They can't do the challenge. He's trying. He's trying. I'm not sure what's going you're on just, with that VR you're, just, he, you're hitting so Reginald! fast. You're hitting so fast that we Reginald! can't see it. It's like fix the VR Roche, please. It's like an anime when they. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! We've already gone into anime territory. I mean, they were talking about literally not defecating on the panel. This, so this is in true. The future. I, I don't. Oh, I don't know how much worse events. this can get. Moon deck events. All but right. Then again, famous last words, yes. right? So Puppy will be able to get two of those bounty rooms. One going over to Cinderin and one going to Sing Sing. So which bounty are you most excited to see? I was excited to see the the dance with the devil. Dance with the, the devil in the, in the old Roche pit there, but yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll see that. Uh, maybe we'll see that on game two. Perhaps. Uh, I would like to see a duel, honestly. Did I, they drop I a mango? Is that? What, did we drop one over here? Is that what Pop Tart's trying to tell me? Pop with Arthur. Hide in mangoes. Okay, no mango. No mango. Oh man, that one sounds like fun. It's a mini game within the game. So Sadim Stunners actually already did the mango hunt. <laughs> like they already did. Doesn't that. mean they don't. They can't do it again. It just it seems they so hard. They can just hide all those mangoes. It seems like the hardest bounty. Oh my god. All right, so we're gonna see a little bit of back and forth here in this top lane. Nothing too too wild. Well, we got in that mid lane, Dendi facing off with Waga. This is gonna be interesting here. Tell me, how does this matchup go during the laning phase? I've literally never seen or heard of this matchup happening before <laughs> in the lanes. So, I mean, I would say I don't see Meepo getting pressured at all by the Wyvern. I don't, I don't think the Wyvern has any. It's like the ultimate that really deals with the Meepo. So I think Meepo will farm, but Wyvern will as well. Okay, so they shouldn't see something too crazy down. Yeah, I don't think so. In that middle lane, bottom lane, it just looks like uh, mostly some harass coming out onto Puppy. I don't think they can do too too much against this uh, enchantress, right? During the landing phase, she's just point and touchable. I don't think so. Um, although, if, if there are a lot of people low on the map, Bloodseeker does get the attack speed, so you can chase down the enchantress possibly. That's a that's always a possibility, but it's still hard. Well, if you were a betting man, which lane puppy. do you think? I would bet puppy. You think puppy's gonna be the uh, first one to go down? Puppy's gonna feed. All right, all right. Let's see if that's true. What's the update? There was uh, the challenge for the Yules as well. Yeah, that's between 23, 55, and 24. Oh, Sing Sing drew the first blood by killing Art Style. That's you would be incorrect, Jinx. Look at that dance. Look at him. Oh, he is a jolly sailor. That's kind of surprising. I mean, Kunkka's kind of useless at level two. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to suicide on Bane. Sometimes. That is a creepy queen of pain. Oh my. Alright. See some of that splash damage coming out from Kanka. Oh, good news everyone. Mr. Might has hired the only the fi Oh, hold on, hold on. Art style. Art style. He does have the brain sap. Is he gonna be able to get out in time though? They're trying. There it is, Bambo. Is Taking down art style. So yes, Mr. Might has hired the very best technicians to come in immediately and fix our VR Roshan experience. It is now up and running. So I don't know though, she, Shiva was kind of selling me that maybe maybe Mr. Midas is no. in, in on, no. it's possible, no. you know? No. Okay. Negative ghost. Is that, is that like too much of a conspiracy? Too thing? much of, get your tinfoil hat off there, Jenkins. Well. Mr. Midas is a wonderful, wonderful philanthropist. How dare you? Blame Shiva. <laughs> How dare you blame Sheever? Uh, hashtag blame Sheever. Oh my god. Otherwise, this is a pretty quiet game so far. I'm a little I'm a little disappointed. I would like to see some brawling coming through. 
I want to see a duel. That that's that's the number one thing that I want to see. The duel. Oh yeah. Well, it looks like Rubik is getting chased down a little bit here. Avos trying to cut him off here in the tree line. Nice blocks. Yeah. Oh, the, the creep. creep. The creep. The trees. The torrent. Can they get him in time? One more hit, and that's like another kill for Art Style. If if only the the creep takeovers did what that creep did. Oh my God. I I'm I really. That creep is MVP so far. That was. That was. Oh, Dendi. Putting the moves on the Waga. Gonna be able to go and secure himself a double damage rune up top. It's interesting that they haven't opted to like block any camps or anything to try to uh, slow down Waga Mama there. May I mean maybe maybe you do. It's a it's a little early, so it's kind of hard to get into the jungle. Like you'd have to, you'd have to leave a lane. But uh, they do have the wyvern to deal with the meeple always. So when you have whenever you have a meeple counter, you can just kind of like deal with the other heroes and be like, okay, well we have this hero, we'll just use it every single time on the meeple. Which of course the meeple can outplay, but it's it's not easy. That is true. Ooh, lift torrent. Nice finish it off though. It's getting pretty low, but he's gonna be able to heal up off of these open wounds. Tries to run himself away. They don't have enough mana. You can see that little taunt coming out there. And we have five minute runes up. And no one has Okay, Cinder and Cinderin's on the ball. Cinder is going to pay for this with his life, maybe. Oh, they have the ward. They can see him. Cinder, can he make it to the shrine in time? He's going to be able to. They'll turn back around. That's going to be the healing sprites. Waga coming in hot here. We'll just back off. Decides it's not worth his time. Even with the uh, the nerf to the heal, it's still so difficult to kill this hero. It's, uh, I mean, any amount of heal with the untouchable giving 70 attack speed slow, how are you supposed to kill her, really? Unless she has, like, 200 HP. Yeah. Or it's it's not HP. happening. Not happening during the laning thing. Just easily. I'm seeing a Chantress trend again a little bit in, in pubs. People are kind of realizing that it still does what you want it to do in the game. Bottom lane. Let's see who's taking a lot of damage. He's going to try to turn it back around. He's just going to go heal. Oh, I can't get that creep. Not going to be healing off of that one. Oh, Cinderin. It's reported. Cinderin. Ah, you, you, th come on, Cinderin. Come on, you know better. Oh, look at that puppy. That's a cute puppy. Somebody just paid to put like a cute dog in the game. I mean, that's cool. Wait, which puppy are you talking about? The puppy or the puppy? Uh, both. <laughs> Stop lane. We're just trading a lot back and forth here. I, I was hoping somebody would hide some mangoes. I'm actually very disappointed. That's a hard one, man. It takes a long time. Does it really? Everybody just grabs a mango. Another torrent. Art style is getting a bit low. Doesn't have the Nightmare, the X-Mars spot comes out, and they'll be able to finish him off with a Fade Bolt. Avos <laughs> turns around, gets a little bit of damage off, but he's just going to back off towards the tower. Well, the Stunners were trying to protect the Siege Creep, attack. but unfortunately, uh, Art Style suicides to, uh, push the, to pull the Creeps out of the Radiant's tower range, which gets the Siege Creep dead, which is good. Oh, well, Cinderin is getting chased into those trees. Mango's going to get used. They can't oh, quite find him. Look at him breaking those ankles. I don't know, this Barista's running after him with a, a Furious Vengeance. Dendi joining in the fight, slows him down, gets himself a kill. Dude, Navi's mid laner's a kill stealer. That was, that, was a, <laughs> that was a chaos right there. Please report, Dendi. Come on, Dendi. Hey, guys, I'm here. Waga just doing Waga things. They will use the Winter's Curse on the bottom lane, though. They want to try to take down the Bloodseeker. Then if he gets thrown onto the ground, Puppy bottling through. Slows him down just a little bit. Needs a couple more hits, and they'll throw out the Bloodseeker Silence. Can he make it out in time? They're looking, they've got the flying, and they've got the kill. Gorgeous was not expecting that. He, he's like, though, this this hero has no stun, I'm just gonna walk this off. But he's, he's, then he's perfectly okay committing the ultimate for that, because he has the arcane rune, so 27 seconds, and it's up again. <laughs> Do you remember when that was on like very low cooldown and you were able to actually stack do, do, all of your ultimate stuff? damage? Up? Yeah. Yeah, that was Those are the days. Ridiculous. I was uh People didn't even pick Wyvern back then, is the funny thing. I like, picked Wyvern back then. It was like occasionally picked. People were like, okay, this is an all right hero. And then I had to get used to uh, timing it just perfectly because otherwise I <laughs> my Kinkas would get really, really mad at me. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. Wyvern's probably the most potential game ruining hero. You can cold embrace somebody and stun them on your team. You can stun your team. You can, you can interrupt the TP with it. Or you can Winner's Curse and just ruin a team fight. What is your favorite build for a core Wyvern? I actually play this hero. I love this hero. Um, I, I, I just build like the typical uh, typical Aetherlands Blink. 
Because if you if you play if you play around the ulti, like you can get a kill in every single fight. Oh boy, art style. Just gonna put that uh, sleep out. Not gonna be able to work. Sing Sing chases him down. Havos trying to chase after this uh, Rubik. Now will go for the infest bomb. Pop back out. Looks like Rubik's gonna be able to walk away. So you don't go for like a Bloodthorn Ags combo? No oh, uh, way. Really? No. no. Those were fun times. I feel like if you're gonna go for damage, uh -oh. you probably just want to get a storm on your storm spirit on your team. Cinder and realizing that he's not gonna be able to run away from this, will just TP himself out. Dandy in position, looking to help him this gang. Throws out the Splinter Blast here. He's got that Arctic Burn. And chasing after Sing Sing right now. Gonna drop him right back down. Should be able to get this kill. Dandy on a killing spree. Yeah, that's a really nice movement from Dendi. Honestly, this whole game he's been doing a really good job at like, controlling these side lanes. That's something that Meepo... I mean, Meepo can do it. It's just that a lot of people don't do it on Meepo. They just prefer to farm there's until a, you get that third Meepo. There's a big rotation coming up top here. Oh, yeah. He's got the third Meepo. This is when you want to at least think about getting active. Yeah, even Sin's up here, too. I spot out a boast. Bounty they want to go for the runes. Yep, 10 minute runes. Wog is here. The Winter's Curse comes out from Dendi, though. That'll pull them in place for a little bit longer. Follow up with the blood right over onto the ground. Havos turns around. He wants one of these Meepos. He's hungry. He wants it, but the Torrent comes in the boat. Coming through as well. Sing Sing on the back lines here, chasing after Art Style. Looks like Puppy, he was hoping to get out of the pinch, but not going to be able to. It's plus two int going over to our silencer. Art Style, he's still alive. He wants to take someone with him. Is he going to be able to do it? He manages to get the kill on Bambo, but is eventually taken down. And silence. how much int do we have on our silencer now? Six, I think he got from Six? that Six, not bad, not too shabby. The, the, the most annoying thing, like, I, I honestly, I don't even care about the silencer getting the end. It's like whenever you're a brewmaster, a pudge, or a life stealer, and you don't have enough mana to oh. cast two spells, yeah. it feels really bad. You're just like, why am I not playing League of Legends right now? This wouldn't be an, a mechanic in League don't of Legends. Don't say the L word. Well, it's a sacrifice. We have these bullshit mechanics, but then we also <laughs> have heroes like Pudge. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. They're putting a lot of pressure on this top tower. They seem to think that it's got a lot of value. Want to cut off the jungle so they're not able to farm as safely. And it feels like uh, feels like Navi's not quite sure what to do right now. Run some reward. Follow up with a boat coming through. Silence gets thrown too. And they're going to try to chase after this Enchantress, but uh, she's untouchable. That's making it pretty difficult. Waga turns his attention now onto Art Style. They're trying to focus down one Meepo, but he moves the other one away. Art Style still alive, not for very much longer. Now Havos has his eyes over on another Meepo, but he's just going to poof to his friends here. As we do lose Bambo, as Puppy finds himself a kill. And it's going to take a while, I think, to take down Havos. Is he going to be able to make it out? He does have the, the Infest up. Cinder Crew gets thrown down. Going to jump in that Cardi. Cinder and standing nearby. Casual Cardi. <laughs> Nothing to see here, boys. Waga's Meepo micro it's in that thing. fight was beautiful. Yes. That was so nice. That was so good. Moves the Meepo up into the trees. It's getting focused. Poofs the other Meepo to it whenever that one gets gone on. TP's one home. TP's the other one home. And now, since he left one that's full HP, he's back and he's farming. Good Meepo player is a thing to be feared. It's hard to do. It's really hard to do that Like when you're under the pressure of a, of a team fight. I mean, you can go into a practice lobby and be like, oh, I'm a sick Meepo it's player. It's not the same. But yeah, when, whenever there's all of these like random variables, it's Good God, it's, it's very hard. So the top tier one has been taken down on the side of the Dire. I would think that the mid tower is your next objective, right? You want to open up that Roche pit, even yep. though Roche is terrifying <laughs> with our VIP in that booth. Right. Just swinging at everything. Maybe we'll leave these towers alive in this tournament. <laughs> uh, the, the mid tower is like a pretty difficult tower to just run into, though. You probably want to get a pick off first, mm -hmm. and, th and then you go for it, because fighting into that, winter, uh, that Winter's Curse, could be pretty devastating with the Meepo. But I also feel like Wag has just been so good with his positioning the entire time that it's going to make it very difficult for Dendi to find that opening. Yeah, that's true. He, he's also going for this uh, Orchid build. Mm -hmm. So he does not have the range that you would have with like a Blink Dagger with right. Glimmer Cape to set up. Something like that. Sing Sing, 1v1ing Havost up here in the top lane. Can, can I take a moment? How did you not know about the Havost meme? Okay, it's been so long. Also, back back in those days, I was I was I was. A, you were like five. I was a two K pleb. <laughs> That's what I was. Were you really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. What do you mean? You think everybody was two K once? 
True, true. I guess when you're five years old, you know, you're <laughs> you're not, you know, 6K MMR game. Gosh, I think, what was the highest MMR back then, too? Because that was, it was, was nowhere near as high as it I is now. I don't think there was MMR. I think that was before MMR. Not 100% sure about that. I think they, they might have just started rolling it out at the time of that meme. Could be wrong, though, and I'm sure Twitch chat will let me know if I am incredibly wrong. They like to do that. They're real, real helpful about that. Just ring around the creeps here. Most. Get away from these sing sings. They're mine. And then he just walks off into the woods. Cool. Cool. Nothing to see here. I like how the Helm of Iron Will just has like somebody's chin photoshopped <laughs> into the... I don't even want to say Photoshop because that's clearly like MS Paint or something like that. That's I don't know. It's layering. There's some layering going on with that. <laughs> some layering. They use the erase tool. <laughs> Well, I'd like to see you do better, Jenkins. You know what? Yeah, yeah. What? I have nothing to say to Exactly. That. I couldn't do better. I would use MS Paint. <laughs> you almost have MS Paint doesn't even exist anymore. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't, does it? I thought they I thought they got rid of it. In my heart. It's like something. Okay. All right. All right. Well, how's our Meepo doing? What does our Meepo go? We, have, we do have a Midas over on the Enchantress. Meepo's got himself those Wraith Bands. A Ooh, bounty Rune. Oh, Cinderin. I think they spot him, but they get the Bounty Rune. There's going to be our first split, followed up with the Fiend's Grip. Well, clean up on Cinderin. No end for him today. The Bloodseeker, though. Gork's got to get out of there. There's a lot of pure damage being thrown out. The Silence followed up with the boat. They're all clumped together. Are they going to be able to land it? It's a little bit of a fail boat here. As now, oh, that's a beautiful Winter's Curse. This is a very, very dead. Bloodseeker, and now Brewmaster is going to pay the price. Stuck around a little bit too long here. I'll wait patiently for uh, Arts now to get out of his little nap here. And the final hit comes in from Bambo as he snipes it out from the side. The only problem, well, actually, there's a lot of problems with that fight for, for, for Navi. I mean, they, they, use all, they use all of their abilities for the silencer, which mm -hmm. you, you, ha you honestly have to do, because otherwise he just globals. So you can't use them. So I, I, I get that. But then when the Meepo comes in, you have, nothing, you have nothing to deal with him other than the Winter's Curse. But then when the Winter's Curse comes out, it's on the Bloodseeker. So who kills the Meepo? That is true. That and without those problem. abilities, Meepo can 1v5. Oh, and they're going for that mid-tower. The nets have been thrown out. Puppy. Torrent's going to connect over on him. They've got the sprites out trying to keep everyone alive. The Impus is doing a decent amount of damage here to Sing Sing. So he's going to have to run himself away. He'll manage to go grab one of those Meepos. Oh, there's a Winter's Curse, though. Does he have enough damage to take down one of his Meepos? Question. Called up with the Arch Class. Ah, they'll take down Waga, and they'll take down Puppy Cinderin now. He's just so slowly trying to hit. Uh, trying to hit that Enchanter, so he can't. He's very smart, but he's not very fast. All right, the and there's Bambo dying to the neutrals. I got to say, the Orchid on Winter Wyvern, I'm convinced now. This is really cool. Actually. I told you. <laughs> this is really cool. Long distance Orchid. Yeah, I with like With little Coco. I see the little Coco face. Oh, I see it. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Coco on the... Uh, Coco's on the Dagon. Medallion? On the Medallion, I think. No, the Medallion is a cat. Yeah. Oh, the Medallion is a cat. Oh, yeah, true, true. It, oh, the Medallion's Rosie. Ro Rosie's okay, Medallion. Okay, Rosie's Medallion. Coco's the dog. Yes. Is Coco the dog that we saw in the picture? No, that's a different dog, right? Which it's which just thing? an untagged, unnamed dog in the picture. The one of the things on the ground. Oh no, I don't know. Just random, random dog. That was definitely not Coco, though. That was a different dog. You would know Coco if you saw Coco. Coco's a fluffy little marshmallow of a dog. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, there it is. Yeah, there he is. There's Coco's ethereal blade. He's also on the um, the Radiance. Huh. Radiance dog. If if you could give Coco the pats right now. And just ditch the ditch everything, ditch Midas mode, ditch casting as a career. Would you make that? Would you trade your life for that? I, I need money to live. I, I can't I can't do that, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's a it's a cute dog. Come on. It is. It is. Good heckin' boy. Middle lane. Rubik got himself an Invis. Standing on that spam spot. They want to make some moves. There's the lift and silence. He's got to try to TP out. He can't do it in time. Waga gets himself another kill. It's pretty annoying playing Lifesteal against Silencer. Because you're just, you're playing up in the mid lane. It's like, oh, this this guy ruptures me. I'm going to I'm gonna TP out, rage. Bot well, he lane. tried. He thought that he could make it, but the, the Torrent came through. Bottom lane. See some movement going on down there. I'm thinking about something. They do have the Winter's Curse up, so they have to be careful. You know, you know why else the Orchid is cool? Because Arctic Burn is percentage-based damage. Yes, I know. Current current HP. So you use it right at the start, you Orchid, and then it pops somebody like 20% HP. That was my build. Oh, they see him. 
Cinderin comes around the corner, spots out the art style. Staying very far spread out. Throw. Uh, fail boat. <laughs> zoning boat, maybe? Why don't we say it's a zoning boat? I don't think it really did much to Dende. I think there's a little bit of range. They still don't see art style. Maybe? No, they don't see him. Instead, they're going to go after Dendi. Throw out that silence on the illusion. Nice to bait. So pretty good about that. At least they didn't use their big spell, right? Because that's not a bounty today. Anyways. Yeah, that was uh, that was my my whole plan when I was going one v one against Kyle was to do the uh, do a satanic bloodthorn it's satan dragon uh, satanic <coughs> hurricane pike. Okay, I'm I'm gonna need to back up here. You need to explain the satanic. Uh, we can we can do this later. Well, I'll show you. Okay. I'll show you. Eventually, you just start hitting so fast and furious, and you're doing so much damage, it's hilarious, and you're from like the other side of the map. Wonderful. Boat comes in, they've got their eyes on art style. I'm not even sure the boat was necessary, but you know what? It was fun. <laughs> Gonna chase down Sing Sing, Arctic Burn. Silence him up, followed up with the impetus. They actually go for a split as they go and just chip away. Over. Sing Sing has been deleted. As now Rubik is going to steal himself a golem. Going to try to run himself away, but uh, this panda, hot on his tail. Three bounties going the way of, oh, actually, no. Gorg got one on the top lane. I thought Havos was going to head over and grab that, but doesn't want to risk it after the uh, the whole silence on the mid lane incident. And Havos just hard at work farming here, but you can already see that this Meepo has had 11k net worth. Leading, but very, very closely after him is, of course, the three cores on the side of the Dire. Yeah. I mean, and it's spooky when you're playing against a Wyvern because the stronger you get on oh. the Meepo, the stronger Wyvern gets. Wyvern just took down those creeps. There's a blink dagger that just got picked up, so the positioning is going to be even better now for Wyvern. Oh, yeah. He can always get that ultimate off of Meepo. <laughs> Do you think Dendi must feel really awkward seeing this picture on the ground when he's playing in the game? Would you feel awkward if you had a parry? Yeah, it's a probably a little jarring. Yeah, it's a little jarring. Jenkins makes the best faces, guys. Every time I make him take a selfie with me, they're always uh, grade A. That's very rude. That's just my normal face. I didn't. I said they were great. That sounded ironic. No, you mean sarcastic, first of all. You know what? <laughs> bottom tower is under don't, don't correct me. <laughs> all right. When I'm wrong. All right. Cinderin does get spotted out here by Artstyle. Throughout the nightmare, there's a lot of backup coming in though. And you can see the Fiend's Grip comes out. They get a steal off. Wago, they need to watch out. This Winter Wyvern is in the vicinity. There's an X marks the spot and the boat coming through though. Looks like they're not going to be able to go and land that Winter's Curse. It's taking too much damage, especially with that stolen Fiend's Grip that they grabbed from earlier. The Rupture comes out. They're going to try to chase down this Enchantress, and she is not going to make it out of here, I don't think, as they take him down. Very well executed team fight from the uh, Stunners. This, uh, well, they want to defend. They're going top already. But get away from our tower. Yeah, I suppose their lanes are all pushing in. May as well do some garbage collection. That was, that was, that was really nice. The silence to interrupt the uh, Fiend's Grip, the steal, and then the use of the Fiend's Grip on the Winter Wyvern. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's 100% the name of the game. You just need to, to deal with the Wyvern. This was the last pick versus Meepo. If this hero is dealt with, then it's just it's such an it's such an easy game for the Meepo. I feel like Art Style is always like just getting some sort of information for his team. Like wherever there seems to be one hero, Art Style's lurking in the trees. In fact, yeah, he's got the nightmare. He doesn't have the Fiend's grip. Dendi, blink forward, Orchid. He's gonna keep slowing him down. He pops his drums. Does help a little bit, and immediately they realize, oh boy, there are people on their way. We do not want to be there. And look, there's Coco's Radiance. Pomeradian Radiance. Is Coco a girl or a boy? I have no idea. That could be either. Coco is whatever it wants to be. It's so cute. It is. Joy. Joy is cute. All right, so what do we have here? So Cinderin just buying wards until the cows come home. What would you like to see on the silencer? In 20 minutes, probably a <laughs> yeah. four staff or a glimmer cave. Okay. Maybe a few more bracers. It's a it's a rough life to be position five in this meta. To get a lotus picked up, and we do have a radiance online now for the life stealer. 
So do you think we're going to start seeing some moves? I think so. I think I think if there's any time that you're going to make a move, it's it's on this Life Stealer Radiance timing. Havos hasn't done anything up until this point other than like sit in a lane and mm -hmm. occasionally defend a tower, which is exactly what you want to do on a Life Stealer. I mean, this is this is the, the definition of the hero. So oh, we do get a smoke though coming out from Sadim's Hunters. And they're looking and hunting. They use a scan. There's nobody over there. They're over in the triangle area. And Obby's kind of baiting this. Oh, they're smoking themselves. And there's a double damage rune. Ooh. Can Dendi resist it? Nope. Did anybody notice? I'm not seeing any pings. As they find art style, it's going to be the nightmare. Sure. Giving a little bit of chase. And I hear a rupture coming out down here. I have no idea who he was. I have no idea either. Oh, yep. It oh, is the almost. life it's, dealer. He's in a creep, he's in a creep though. Yeah. That's why. My ears doth not deceive me. There we go. They'll slow him down. There's going to be Infest. There's going to be the Global Silence coming out here on the back lines. It's Winter Wyvern. This is their number one target right now. They'll take him down. This fight is a lot more easy now for Wagga. The buyback comes out from Dendi. He's going to be able to get a kill over onto Havost. He is not going to buy back. He does not have the buyback. As Sing Sing tries to run himself out, but the final jump here from Artstyle will erase him. As it seems like this Enchantress gets rooted into place. Beautiful Winter's Curse. Is it going to be enough damage, though? Stole Aren't it. they going to be able to get out? And they stole it! They'll turn it back around again. It's not going to do enough damage, I don't think, to take down Dendi, but they're trying. They hold him in place, and they're going to give chase. They don't have enough damage, not enough magic just yet to take down Dendi. Artstyle, though, he should be able to pop as they finally take down the Winter Wyvern. Puppy now trying to run himself out. He's going to try to TP. Can he make it out in time, Jenkins? He makes it out at the last oh. second. I think Gork went for the rupture there instead of just continuing to, to wreck. I mean, it doesn't matter. That's that's just that's just one kill. What what was very impressive there was from Bambo. So first he steals. Oh, there's the rupture on the top lane, though. And you know that this Enchantress, she can't TP out. She just TP top to get out of the last fight. This is a very slow death, but it is a death nevertheless. Interesting play to, to or good play to try to go get the bounties. But Gork, see, miles ahead of Na'Vi. They're playing 4D chess. Speeds ahead. Yep. The the stunners seem to be very focused on getting their lanes out. I think they're confident that going late, they can just keep killing the wyvern in every fight, and then it's a free meepo game. Dendi's got to be really careful with his positioning. He's like, you know, they have this this we have this Mr. President challenge, and uh, that's that's kind of they Dendi should yeah they might want to actually uh, use that get down Mr. President. I'm a little disappointed. I haven't seen, uh, haven't seen these boys yeah, try to go if, for the bounties. If a VIP lasts five minutes, they get moon bucks. Right. So declare it as Dendi. Say, all right, Dendi, let's go a couple of fights. You can't get picked. You're so important to survive. Yeah, but that just paints a big old target on his back too, right? But there's already one though. That's he's, true. He does have a couple escape items, right? He's the he's big boy. He's got the uh, good burn. Casual D ward here. Okay. The, apparently the, the VIP bounty is only in the first five minutes, so it can't. Okay. They tried to do it too, and unfortunately the Roche was not uh, responsive at the time, so maybe they think that uh, it's still down. Oh boy, are they going to be in for a rude awakening if they go in that pit later? <laughs> Good news, guys, we fixed it. Oh no. Because I'm surprised we haven't seen a Meepo Roche yet. Yeah. I think every team is ter absolutely terrified of the Roche. They, oh, this. I want them to buy the Super. Oh, Sing Sing has just found literally everyone on the other side of the team here. There we go. Bo gets thrown out. This Enchantress, she's just melting. They try to keep her alive. He's not Ethereal Blade. They'll turn back around. Now the Taunt gets used out over here. Trying to take down the Wyvern. This might actually succeed. It's enough damage. The Silence comes out. Waga, he's focused him down. He's been able to go take out. Denby, can he He's take so out more? He finds dude. the opening. And now there's going to be the Fiend script getting used here over onto poor Puppy as they go and get a triple kill for Waga. Are you serious? Bambo's at such a god. So, so much. He uses the stolen Winter's Curse from the previous fight to kill the Wyvern, which as we talked about is the absolute most important hero. And then he steals Grip. He used two of Navi's team fight ultimates against them in one fight. It's right place, right time. And I think also when you've got this many Meepos on the map, it's probably hard to keep track of where everybody is. Buyback comes out from Poppy, though. He's not willing to let them have any of these towers just yet. You can see a TP over there to the top lane. Meepo going to be able to push it out. Jumps forward. We see a poof. Top lane, Pop-Tart. 
As uh, Havos got to be able to TP himself away. I have Scotty. Is oh, that Scotty looks terrifying? Good grief! What is that? Oh, it's Mike, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Oh, that's actually his face. I think. Did anybody get Sully? Is the next question. Though. Maybe. I mean, if you're gonna get Mike Wazowski, you may as well get Sully. Yeah, but what would Sully be? Oh, Helvin Talbert picked up now for Kunkka. That's big. It's another Coco. He could also be the Scotty. He like looks like a monster. Yeah, he could. Oh, I hear. Oh, I got really excited. I heard some poofing near the pit. Poofing near the pit. <laughs> Sounds like a. Never mind. We're not gonna say. <laughs> I yeah, like a like a '90s rap. Yeah, on. except like a weird Al Yankovic like <laughs> parody. Poofing near the pit. Poofing out some ganja. <laughs> The tree, the devil's lettuce. <laughs> you stole that from now. I did, yeah. All right. Let's go, let's go, Roche. Go, come on, I want to see someone come get on. in that pit. I want to see a super Roche come out here again. Y'all are cheap and you didn't buy any creep takeovers. The teams are rich at this point, right? I, th I, th I think most of these teams have, like, I know, they're being stingy. Over a thousand moon bucks. They're being stingy. They can afford it. Yeah. Come on. Do it for the fans, for the community. God damn, the top 1% of moon bucks, they're always pulling I shit know, like right? this. We need to organize. We need to make a creep. Seriously. Union. Let's protest at the Roche pit. <laughs> just all the creeps crowd around the Roche pit. Yeah. Our VIP does get the message and just murders them all. Manta style picked up now for the life stealer here. Oh, you can see him twitching. That Roche. He's excited. Lots of farming, lots of uh, map lane pressure, dealing with lane pressure in the last few minutes. The Vlad's picked up now for the Brewmaster. Oh. That is not oh, a real no. Wyvern. Oh no, Dendi with the bait. He knows how value he is. I'm sure he's giggling oh, right he's now. I would be giggling. He's having a good time. Look at him. Thanks. No taunt or anything either. Yeah, he surprisingly, he has not been taunting. Yeah. Taunting is free. I'm a believer that you should get wand charges for taunts. Wand charges for taunts? Yes. No, no. I think that's a little broken. There's no limit, right? They, they should also do damage. <laughs> okay, nope. All right, crazy pants. So what's the play? What are we waiting for? We're we waiting for a specific item, do you think? Or? See, I would normally think Roshan, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. There he is. Do you want to walk into that guy? Look at him. He's feisty. He's ready to go. I mean, wouldn't you be feisty if people kept walking into your home murdering you every game? I'd be pretty mad. Yeah. But then I'd be like, oh, cool, I'm respawning. Come on, Sing Sing, get in that pit. Get in that pit. Mm, do it. If I could respawn in real life, I would probably literally eat myself to death as my first. <laughs> what? Tell me you wouldn't do that. No. Tell me you would not do that. No, that sounds awful. I'd just eat like 50 Joe Louis. What's, what's a Joe Louis? Oh, you don't have those here? No, what's that? Uh, they're kind of like Twinkies. Oh, yeah, that Chocolate. sounds horrifying. F Fifty of them, yeah, definitely. We have like ring dings. It's a ring ding. A ring ding. It's like a, it's like a little snack cake that's chocolate. It's got marshmallow filling inside, kind of. I hate that they use. We have ho hos too. Two synonyms, and just put them right next to each other. Ring and ding. <laughs> that's that's, that's not a synonym. Those are the exact same thing. And ho ho, that's like, just the same there's word. There's ho hos, twice. yodels, yeah, man. These are like lunchbox things that we had as kids. Although I'm pretty sure I could probably... <laughs> Thousand probably, yeah. calories per... Uh, we'll have to buy you a box later. You can enjoy the finer American cultural treats. Yes, I would, I would like to <laughs> die. Get I you a like box of ho-hos. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Sing Sing. He keeps, he keeps walking. They're like, oh, oh, am I going to do it? No, nope, I'm not. We're going to get a smoke maybe? Everybody's grouping up together. Come on. All right, we got a smoke. Like Rubik's gonna bait. There's literally no one here. No. Value smoke. They do spot someone in the bottom lane, so maybe that's gonna be their target. Although Dendi's already blinked out in TPC says, I don't see anyone on this map. I am out. See you later. 
Nice lane pressure from him. That means Bambo has to show from the bot lane. To oh, puppy? Hey, puppy. I mean, if you're the stunners, you're okay with this. This is going to break the smoke. They know he's there. So Debrew gets thrown out. He's going to back off. I'm struggling to see what the items are. I, I looked in I looked in Puppy's inventory and I saw the top right thing and I'm like, oh, he's got a four staff. He's fine. No, that's definitely a Lotus Orb. It's a Lotus Orb. Performance enhancing Lotus Orb. Oh. That must have been what OG used to win TI. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't sorry. think so. Sorry, that no, was no. actually Adderall. Oh my god. All right. Oh, what what just got picked up? I just saw an item got got picked up. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Damage Hank and <laughs> BKB does get picked up though. That's pretty important. We have an Ag Scepter online for Rubik already. Wow. We have Link a Dollar, Link Dagger, and the Monkey's Aghanim Scepter. We have a sheep on That's a cat. On Meepo. That's a cat scepter. Where? Which one? The Aghanim Scepter. It's a cat. Look at him. He's a little. Oh, he's there he is. Oh, he's holding it. He's holding it. Scepter. The I cat's love it. name is Monkey. Oh. Monkey the cat. Shout oh. out to Monkey. That's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Every, if, if somebody had a cat named Monkey, every time I would go to their house, I'd bring, like, bananas. It's like, oh, shit, it's a cat. Why what if the cat likes bananas? Well, that's that's not possible. That's <laughs> okay. Monkeys like bananas. Sure, whatever you say. Runes are up, though. Get picked up by the uh, the streamer team so far. Gotcha. The streamer team? TI-10 winners. Yes. Sir Sadim Stunners. Sir Sadim Stunners. Lots of farming. This has turned into quite the snooze fest for the past few. Yeah, again, like, uh, normally we'd say they probably want to grab Roche for Meepo, but uh, they are two chicken shit to go into that Roche pit. That's right, I said it. Cowards. So, uh, Sing Sing does have the ass cure ass. Nice, nice. So, if they do go into the Roche pit, that booty, though. they will be protected anally. <laughs> <laughs> when Roshan, <laughs> you know what I'm about to say. Yep, nope, that's enough. That's enough now. I'm going to get banned. Yeah. Let's not get banned on Twitch, okay? Oh, 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 it's happening. We got a rune. Pick that up for the... Okay, All I thought that was the right, here, here we go, here we go, VIP. Go for it. Give him the smacks. Somebody buy the super Roshan. Beat his ass. Murder. Super, 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 super Roshan! They're cheap, Navius cheap. What are they doing with their TI money? <laughs> <laughs> well, Navi, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Sing Sing around the corner, Torrent followed up with a big old boat. They did use the pipe though, nice Nightmare. Dodge. Does them a little bit of a dodge there, they follow up. And there's going to be the hole coming out here from Artstyle. The Lotus comes out, though. Does go for the spell. Puppy, he's silenced up. He wants to get in there. Artstyle still gets dragged back. And we've got Havost. Everyone is separated. Havost is just chasing after the Rubik. They're not going to be able to get that final hit over here onto Artstyle as he is thrown over into a nightmare. He's dripping. Oh, he's going to get taken down. Sidran also going to fall. Now he's going to buy back again as Waga. He's just going to town. Did get a split from Puppy. And they're going to keep chasing after the Rubik. They're hoping to get it. Sing Sing in the vicinity. He's doing whatever he can. And there's going to be the Hex get thrown out by the Meepo. Oh, that's a nice Winter's Curse. Are they going to be able to take him down, though? It's not looking like they're doing anything. They're just taunting. They're holding into place. And now Art Style, he comes right back in. He's going to die right again if he's not careful. Again, that Nightmare throwing down the blood right. He is out of here as they find a kill on Cinderin. Dendi, Dendi. Oh, at the last second, they're able to go and find him. There's going to be the Sheep Stick thrown out, and he's out of here. Yeah, that Ethereal Blood kind of nullifies the uh, the Winter Wyvern, but also... Ooh, he buys back, though. How long until his uh, Winter Spirit is off? 48 seconds. 48 seconds. 48 so seconds. It's not happening. Well, he can at least throw out the Splinter Blast, right? Kudos to Waga for keeping the main Meepo out of the, the fight in, the, in that all of that chaos. It, it makes it so that you can actually use the Ethereal Blade on the Winter's first target. So now he still has the Aegis for this push. And with the Aegis, it's very difficult to kill Meepo. Yeah, I'm not sure how they're going to be able to do this now with uh, Winter's Curse being down. And every time the Dendi even gets a little close to me, just immediately poofs up. All right, they do get this Orchid off on one of the Meepos. Follow. Oh, the rupture comes out with the sheep stick. Puppy jumps in the middle of everyone, though. He wants to get this kill. He wants to take down Waga's Aegis, but he doesn't have enough damage. He's not going to be able to. He's going to be held into place. Does not have that split. In comes the Chantress. 
chasing now, and that's still pure damage. He needs to be careful here. Havo still chases after him. There's nothing for him to invest right now. He's got to get out of there in a hurry, Jenkins. The blink forward coming out from Dendi. One more hit's going to do the trick, and they'll slay Gork. 681 gold for Enchantress. What's she going to do with all that money? I, I think she should get a blink dagger. You think blink dagger, really? I never, I never seen him build it, but I, I think the being able to blink in and use the hurricane pike and kill somebody from full HP is That's pretty true. cool, uh, especially against a blood seeker. This hero builds BKB, Sin? Blood Rage yourself, and just die. They're getting pincered on right now. The jump forward comes out from Waga right into the back lines. They're going to try to force Staff him back. They've got the Lotus Orb over here, and there's going to be the Global Silence. Dendi, Dendi, he can't afford to die here. He's down for 105 seconds. As now Puppy's going to get held into place. Rudis does manage to get the split off just in time. And you can already see that Earth Panda. They're trying to hide him, trying to run him away, and they can still kind of see him over here. Oh, but Rubik, he's keeping tabs. He sees Puppy. He wants to go for this as they just chase after him. The nets are being thrown. He's a little bugged here. He Looks a bit strange, but they're going to be able to grab him slowly, but what surely. There's going to be the Hex, and the damage is done. Waga slays himself a puppy. Does that make Waga a puppy killer? It does. Rosie would be Terror. Well, Rosie's a cat. Oh. Toko, on the Ro other hand. Rosie would, would approve. <laughs> Well, I think without the Winner's Curse. I think without the Nobby. Wyvern down for so long, I think this might, uh, they might just go for the end. What do you think? Yeah, this, this Yeah, look at that Rubik jumps forward. He's got his own split. Look at all the units on the map right now as they force everybody back into that fountain. Yeah, they're just done. They're done. Sadeem Stunners just tag them and tag them, man. GG gets called. And Sadeem Stunners are going to take game. Number one. Nice, good, good job, good job. The, the stunners. I think uh, huge kudos to Bambo and Waga. Waga played the Meepo flawlessly around the Wyvern, which is not easy to do. No. And then Bambo. I mean, honestly, the stunners were on point as a team. Their synergy was great in that game. And if the synergy isn't great. You just feed the Meepo every fight to the Wyverns. So. I think it was really impressive. Like you mentioned, a couple of those fights, just watching the way that Waga was going through and just making sure that there was always, you know, one Meepo off to the side. So, for example, when the Winter's Curse came through, he could go throughout the Ethereal or whatever, keep one of them alive. Um, and one of the other situations, just the way that he was microing one of them away and moving the others, like that was really impressive. Oh, yeah. And then the steals. The steals that we saw coming out from Rubik. Those are fantastic. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that was, that was, that was insane. Like they, they, they actually played... Top tier Dota. That was that was that was a little too serious I, for my liking. I kind of why understand not? why they didn't go for bounties. Just well, I don't want to say I, I understand, but I could like I could see that there's like intensity. I could, I can see what they're what they're going for. They're, we we want to win this. Okay. We want to prove that we're we're not just a stream team. We are the TI10 winners, coming in hot in, in uh, Midas mode, Betway Midas mode two. Well, they're winning the games, but are they winning our hearts? Yes. Okay. Well, that's that's the answer right there.